Hi everyone! Welcome to another eq and U series. I'm Noelle. I'm one of the dosage specialists here at Equilibria. And thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to give everyone just another moment or two so we can have some more people join in and talk a little bit more about CBD with us today. Hi everyone, so excited to have you today. Again, I'm Noelle. I'm one of the dosage specialists here at Equilibria, and I'm excited to talk to you today a little bit more about CBD intolerance. So we'll just talk a little bit more. We'll dive more into tolerance and what that is first. Then we'll kind of talk a little bit more about how CBD is working in the body, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty, talking you know more about what our members notice and talk about that. Thank you for joining us, everyone. So tolerance. Tolerance is when someone takes a substance and they need to keep taking more and more of that substance to get the same effect. So it's almost like your body acclimates and then has to keep taking more to feel the same effects. So that's what tolerance is. And we a lot of times our members will ask us, can you build a tolerance to CBD? And that's why, you know, we have that series today. That's why I'm here to talk to you about this. So let's dive into a little bit more about how CBD is working in the body. I'm sure if you're new to us, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the endocannabinoid system. If I've talked to you on the phone before, you've probably heard me talk about it, but it's a really important part of understanding how CBD works and understanding the big picture. So CBD is actually working with the system we have in our bodies that's called the endocannabinoid system. That's this amazing system that we have. It's a bunch of receptors found all over the body. We have them, you know, in our skin and in our brains and in our immune systems and our digestive system, even in our reproductive areas. And this system, the ECS, is really just responsible for maintaining balance or homeostasis across a bunch of different systems in our body. So that's its role. If you're feeling stressed, your ECS can help you calm down and signal to your body, it's okay. You're okay. And actually, our bodies create these molecules called endocannabinoids endo meaning occurring inside the body and cannabinoids is a cannabinoid it's a molecule so your body is actually creating this molecule that helps and they go and they interact with the receptors in your body and they signal to the ECS on how to respond so turn this on turn this off do this do that the endocannabinoid system is almost like an air traffic controller, if you wanna think about it that way. So it's telling everything in your body on how to respond to get that balance. So that's a little bit more about how your endocannabinoid system's working, but you know what happens is our bodies can experience stress and react in the same way when we're having little stressors. So picking up the kids and shuffling them to their after school activities or checking your work email, commuting to work now, things like that. Our bodies can react in the same way as they would to life-threatening situations. And our bodies were built for, you know, that fight or flight mode. That was meant for those life-threatening situations. When there's a fire, we need to run away, or there's a serious, serious incident, like running away from a tiger. Well, like I was saying, our bodies react in the same way to even the smaller things. And that fight or flight mode can actually be triggered over smaller things. And if you have a lot of stress going on throughout your day, your fight or flight mode could be just activating all day long and that can take a toll on your body. When your body activates that fight or flight mode, actually what happens is your body releases stress hormones like adrenaline, cortisol, and those stress hormones actually eat away 
those endocannabinoids your body is creating. So those endocannabinoids then are eaten away and we don't have anything to help signal to the ECS to help our body support working the best they can for us. And that's where CBD comes into the picture. CBD is a molecule from a plant and it acts very similarly to our own molecules our body is creating. So that CBD, we're just going and having that interact with the receptors in your ECS to help your body get back into balance and homeostasis. So that's really what you know, CBD is doing when it's interacting with your body. Now let's talk a little bit more about CBD intolerance. A lot of our members will ask us, can you build a tolerance to CBD? And according to the World Health Organization, they released a report saying, you can't develop a tolerance to CBD based on the studies that they've reviewed. They said that overall it's well tolerated and has a really good safety profile. They also noted that some of the animal studies they found, they did not find any physical potential for physical dependence there. Actually, some experts, they believe that it's unlikely to build a tolerance and it's possible to need less CBD over time. That's sometimes referred to as reverse tolerance. So your body, as it's kind of acclimating and kind of, you know, supporting that ECS and maybe, you know, helping your body achieve that homeostasis, you may find that you lower your dose after you continually use your CBD. So that's just something to keep in mind for you when you're sticking with your CBD. Another thing, you know, I think we'd like to consider is CBD works differently in the body than THC. Some studies have shown that you may develop a tolerance to THC, but it's actually, you know, working very differently with the receptors in our bodies. And by contrast, it's not very likely that you'll develop a tolerance with CBD because of how it differs. And it kind of just influences the receptors in our body versus THC has more of a direct connection with those receptors. So what if our members noticing an EQ? I talked to a lot of members and what they're telling me is that over time, as they stick with their daily routine, they find that they can lower their dosage. As they support that homeostasis, as they support their ECS in finding homeostasis, they're finding taking less CBD, that they don't need more necessarily. Now, in that same regard, I want you to know life changes. Think about that. We are now in a new season, we're in fall, and a lot of moms have found their schedules have changed. Kids are going back to school and, you know, they're doing after school activities and things like that. And so I have talked to quite a few moms who have changed their, you know, routines based on their change in schedule because they found an increase in stress. So as your stressors either increase or decrease, you may need to change your dosage as well to kind of fit with what's going on in your life, your schedule, your body. So let's talk about some circumstances maybe where people might find that they need to take a little bit more to help with supporting those changes or stressors. Some examples are a job change. If you're starting a new job, that can be really stressful and that can be stressful for your body. So you might have to add in a few extra doses just to help your body, you know, feel that support in when you need it. Also moving, moving up to a new home is never easy. And so, you know, taking a few extra doses here and there, episodic doses might be helpful during that time of transition. And as you're, you know, acclimating to your home and kind of adjusting, you may find you don't need as much. So just keep that in mind. Another thing, holidays. The holidays are right around the corner. I can't even believe it myself, my goodness. But another stressful time for us all, especially, you know, with things the way they are, we don't know what they'll look like and how that will be. So we might find it to be stressful and 
so you might need a little bit of extra CBD just to help you get through the holidays and all the extra things going on in life. On average, our members start with about 20 to 30 milligrams of CBD. So that's a starting point. If you're taking that, that's very normal for our EQ members. And then as they kind of experiment and find, you know, what's working well for them, we find our average is about 30 to 50 milligrams per day. So just know your, your routine may change as your life changes. You may have to experiment to find what's gonna work well for you and that's normal. And if you have questions, the dosage team is always here to help. We love doing it. It's, it's, it lights up our lives and we just feel so happy being able to help you find success with your routine. So please do not hesitate to reach out to us about you know, adjusting your routine or if you have any questions. So really, I want you to know, as your schedule changes, as your life changes, you may have to change your dose and that's pretty normal. I've found, you know, around my cycle or if I have a big, you know, deadline coming up, I need to add a little bit more and if you need to, that's okay. We recommend going low and slow. So go low and slow if you're gonna add in doses. For example, you could try like a little half dropper that's always a good place to start small. And then wait, see how you're feeling. And if you need more after about 30 minutes, you could try another half dropper. But that's how we go low and slow to find what's gonna work well for us. You could also try like a half of a gummy. If you feel like you're taking one gummy and might not be enough because you have more stress in your life than usual, you could try an extra half a gummy. So just know there are options and once your stress levels kind of return to normal and you're able to you know feel more comfortable and feel less stressed you may notice your routine goes back to the way it was before and you may take less as your stress levels decrease so just keep that in mind well if you're interested in learning a little bit more about cbd and tolerance we have a great blog post so check that out and if you have any questions, please feel free to DM us or reach out to us at dosage at myeq.com. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. I'm so happy that you joined us and join us next week for another EQ and U series. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you so much.